Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to 6-7 Fallen Heroes. This operation is, oh my, an extremely difficult operation. It has you operate on four different kinds of guilt on four different kinds of patience. Yeah, and it's it's kind of like that under the knife operation where you have um, to operate on five patients with uh, all kiriaki. But this one has the infamous luck base Deftera, as well as um, Paraskevi all the way at the hearts on the last patient. So I really, really don't like this one. <laughs> I mean. This is like super luck based central, or at least it feels like that to me. Like I can beat it fairly consistently, but the thing is that like I'm not confident in my skills of being able to beat it. <laughs> Maybe it's because it has like the worst guilt, you know, being Deftera because it's so luck based and Paraskevi right at the heart which is like super high pressure central and it's not just like when we did uh, Derek's when it was Paraskevi and Kiriaki it's full on full size Paraskevi at the heart so you gotta make sure it doesn't burrow inside it anyway here we go here's the briefing <sighs> gotta psych myself up for this one <laughs> I have a bad feeling this is not gonna go well and I'm gonna have to keep repeating this operation oh! So they're going to be alternating between patients, so you'll have a healing touch, one healing touch for each doctor between them. So it's going to be Derek, uh, Naomi, Derek, then Naomi for the patients. So that's uh, a little bit uh, helpful in your favor. But as you know, I haven't been using the healing touch for these operations because I want to show that these operations can be done without the healing touch. So I'm going to continue to do that even through this operation. And yes, it is possible to beat without the healing touch. Here we go! Uh, first one is... Oh, Tritty. This is going to be easy. <laughs> Let's see the pattern. Oh, really, really easy. Because all I have to do is keep it on to the bottom portion. You know, keep it away from uh, its constant spawning. Just peel it off like that. See what I mean? No problem whatsoever. And you know the drill with Tritty. No. You know, look out for the gas. Blah, 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 blah. No problem. This is going to go very smoothly, I can tell right now. Even though that there's, you know, two, two uh, gas spurts. But that just comes with the territory of Tritty here. Uh, 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 oh, almost uh, another thorn appeared there. I mean, it almost did, and it would have multiplied. At least I think, unless it's backed up to the wall enough that it won't spawn a piece there. I don't really want to take that risk, honestly. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Just got this one thorn left here. I wanted to make sure that it spawned so it wouldn't randomly spawn and then make a, a bunch of pieces appear around that single pff, single piece. Ah, I don't care about rank anymore at this point. If you want a good rank, you're going to have to try these operations again and again and again until you get that excess rank. And believe me, it's not pretty. <laughs> Alright, she's up next. Let's begin. And what is this one? Kiriaki. Okay. No problem. One of the easiest guilt strains. Always take care of the big cuts first. Uh, lacerations. Still, I'm not using those. Me whoa, 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 medical terms. I should be raising the vitals up to 99 before I get this started. That was a bad move on my part, but it would have still went well anyway. <laughs> A couple more, right? Yeah, I thought so. That was just way, way, way too easy. Um, yeah, this is going to go delightful. Actually, you guys make one cut for me, please. Why? There we go. While I recover the patient's vitals, and now I can prepare for Big Mama. Bingo! Is a baby? Yes. Gonna take care of the baby. And oh, that was a terrible stitch that last one. And I just get the vitals up. 
I don't really care what Mama does at this point. Because I can just recover. And start doing the pingy combo here. Boink! And boink! One more. And that's it. No problem. Making good time, too. What? What the heck was that? You've seen where I started that stitch, and you've seen my zigzag. So why did it go so haphazardly there? Oh well. It didn't ruin my combo. <laughs> and... What do we have here? It's Deftera or... Yeah, it's Deftera. <gasps> Diagonal cut to... Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh th I gotta mention something about this. They never explain what this hemorrhaging is caused by. It, they just show that there's hemorrhaging and that's it. And this hemorrhaging will get in the way of Death Terra, so this hemorrhaging makes it even worse for a Death Terra operation. Wish me luck here. Oh man, yeah, you have to sometimes suck up the hemorrhages with the drain as you go, otherwise you won't be able to suck up or laser I mean, suck up the uh, Defteras and or laser the tumors that they create. Oh, very good situation right here, because they're both combining at the same time. Now, as before, the weakened ones will not combine with the stronger ones, so this is an ideal situation. Oh, this is going very well. Oh, 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 oh. come on. Oh, excellent, excellent. Cut, cut, cut. Or, or not. <laughs> See, you can tell the uh, ones that are... Um, weaker by their coloration, like they look a lot paler. And get it, get it, get it, get it. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, no, not yet. Okay. Oh, what What the heck was that leg spike there? It, 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 there wasn't a lot on the screen, so what the heck? Oh, I didn't see this one here. Uh, will I have to cut, cut? Yes. And now we are home free. <laughs> That makes me very happy considering how luck-based this guilt is. Look how fast the vitals drop when it goes into that frenzied final mode there, though. Yeah, like, see, they're not going to explain what this hemorrhaging is caused by. I, I don't... I don't understand <laughs> why they never explain that. Maybe it's caused by the Death Terra itself or something like that? I don't know, but, well, there you go. <sighs> Diagonals are the bane of my existence. Alright, Paraskeevy. Oh, and it's reached the heart. Uh, this time, for once, Angie's chit chattering uh, is actually helpful in that she warns you when it's going to be entering the heart, even if you don't notice it yourself. So whenever you hear her say, look out, or something like that, she uh, immediately start lasering the Paraskeevy to prevent that one-hit KO. Alright, and this is odd too, is that it, it, it seems like it appears out of the heart, doesn't it? You know, it's like, it like starts inside the heart, so why doesn't it just kill the patient? Perhaps we shouldn't question the game logic, otherwise that could be disastrous for the patient. <laughs> but yeah, you see, this is a, as I said, full-sized Paraskeevy going on here. So this is mucho trouble. I was able to defeat it before uh, in one full swing, you know, without any... without having to travel to another area, so I can do it again. Hopefully. No, 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 no! See what, see what I mean about Angie? Ah, okay, good. Now I've only got two pieces. Now it's gonna be a whole lot more in control because I don't have those tiny ones moving about, so I should have sutured up the... No, 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 no. Grab, grab, suture! Uh, see how nerve-wracking this operation is? Urgh, I'm shaking! <laughs> you can even tell I'm shaking by the pointer. Jeez, this is a very, very intense one, I have to say. Okay, looking good. These are this, just to be sure. All right, cut. Chop this sucker up. Only one, please. There we go. Yeah. Do that one, because it's out in the open. Oh, go, go. <laughs> ah, 
Sorry for the lack of good commentary. I'm just really, really concentrating. I believe I have to cut these ones a piece. I must defeat Operation Must Win Eternal Glory. Yes! <laughs> oh, I can't even stitch. <sighs> awesome sauce! And I also made very good on time. Probably because I had to rush through those last two operations, and those first two operations were really fast in general because they were easy guilt. You know, them being uh, Kiriaki and Def... not Deftera, Kiriaki and Tritty, excuse me. Last one being Deftera, you know, you can't waste too much time on that sucker. Gotta keep that one in, under control, and wow, that's a pretty good rank, rank for all those misses I had. <sighs> this is the last operation of um, chapter 6. Let's go. Vulnerability. Still that epic music is going. Oh, and uh, this is probably going to be like the last time I'll be, I will be recording this game, actually. I gotta say, I am pretty dang happy about that. <laughs> Not that this game is a bad game at all. It's just that, you know, I've had this game on hold. Oh, looks like this guy was behind it, in case you didn't realize that. But anyway, as I was saying, because this game has been on... I put this game on hold for such a long time that it's been like... I've been holding it over my head for such a long time that it's like... You know when you have a project that you want to get done, but at the same time you feel that you can't work on it or something like that, and you, it's just like you still want to work on it at the same time? Yeah, it's that it's that kind of feeling that I had with this game, so I will be very, very happy to end this off, even though it is a great game. But, you know, just to start on a fresh new project and finish off everything on my channel. Because I believe this this walkthrough was on hold for what like three month three four months or so, something like that. Anyway, to the research lab we go, and Dr. Hoffman is infected with guilt. Yep. This is a rather sad moment, I have to say, given that, you know, he's our mentor and whatnot, as well as the, um... Well, you, you know his relationship to us. Why am I even explaining this to you, anyway? <laughs> uh, he's got Savato, uh, enhanced version of Savato. It's just a little more... It's just a little faster, more aggressive, does more damage at one time. But it's still Savato, and I'm still very likely going to defeat it with little trouble. I hope. <laughs> No time to waste! Let's get this going! What? Double operation? Oh, this actually reminds me. I, I forgot to say this was the one that I said doesn't make any sense within the game's storyline. I remember that I said that earlier in the walkthrough in my earlier parts, you know, before I put this on hiatus, is that this doesn't, what happens during this operation doesn't make sense at all, and I'll explain it once I get to it. Yeah, we know how to defeat Savato. And I think this Savato is actually easier to aim at with the laser in the second phase when you're trying to burn off its protective shield because it's a little larger in size, so it's easier to get that uh, lock on and vibration in the controller. That, the, a controller, excuse me, that indicates that you're um, burning off a shield properly. And we also got the best song in the game, in my opinion. Let's begin. Yeah, I just thought I would give you a second or two to listen to that for yourself. Alright, here we go. You know how to do this. I'm not going to be using the glitch as I showed before, but I will be... Oh! <laughs> when the web turns red like that, it will cut off a large chunk of the patient's vitals. So you, re you really, really, really want to keep cutting the web as soon as possible. 
because uh, that web does do a lot of damage, as does these annoying little bugs. And now, after you cut off a web, they'll switch doctors for some reason. I think it's because they're hinting that so Derek wouldn't have to take care of it himself, and then, uh, you know, have to treat the remaining wounds and remaining infant savados. But at the same time, it doesn't... Well, this kind of doesn't make sense, because it, it is clearly treatable with just one doctor. <laughs> You've seen it happen before, because I did that before, but that isn't a thing that makes, um, that doesn't make sense, excuse me, because it is possible that two uh, doctors could operate on this, but that's not it. It has to do with the healing touch, and as I said, I'll, I'll explain it. Be patient. Be patient, girls. <laughs> and we're going to move five inches upwards. There we go. A big old mess this time. God, I love this song! <laughs> it's just so dramatic, so epic. Who would expect a guitar in a uh, operation game? <laughs> a game about surgery. And a lovely piano. Well, it's not, I was going to say a piano solo, but there's some drums into it as well. But that just enhances the overall sad slash tense mood that this has. Anyway, phase two, start lasering. Now you see how large he is? It's so easy to keep on that shield. Keep lasering that shield because of that. But as you'll see, he does a lot more stuff and a lot faster than before. And I guess that's indicated by that red coloration it has. Like it's a super powered form of Savato or something like that. It's still Savato, though, so it's no big deal. Yeah. Uh, except if it's a, on the DS version. <laughs> but I already explained why that is. No, 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 do not make blues. Blue baby Savatos will make me blue. <laughs> hey, come on. I would just like to burn off your shield. Please let me burn off your shield. It won't be that painful. There we go. Just had to talk to it a little bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I do not want to run out of the laser, but it just happens sometimes as he's roaming around and dodging my shots. <laughs> so it's a, it's a matter of that you have to keep the laser held on to him in order to burn the shield off properly, but it, it, he just doesn't let you do it sometimes, so... Well, there we go. <laughs> as long as there aren't five of these little baby Savatos roaming around, you're good to go. Awesome. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. it's always easier right at the beginning when they're coming out of the, the laceration than it is when they're already rolling around the patient's body. Uh, and cut. And I don't. It's kind of hard to. Well, I guess they can like break if they wanted to between the segments. I was gonna say because there wasn't anything to. Um, repair after that last round. I had everything cleaned up nicely. <laughs> but I suppose it would be mentally taxing on a doctor to be doing something like this. I mean, come on, we're facing off a, a spider roaming around on top of a patient's heart at high speed, creating lacerations all over the place and spawning its babies out of those lacerations. And that also brings me to another interesting note. It is a very spider-like critter, but it's not an actual spider. You see, true arachnids have eight legs. This one has four. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There we go. Hey, hey, keep the language to a minimum here. This game is supposed to be kid-friendly. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's not. It's a team-rated game. <laughs> you, oh, no, no twitching. No twitching. There we go. <laughs> Get the babies. Yeah! And the part that I was talking about with the healing touch is coming up shortly. So get ready for that. And this is just going to be a routine procedure from there on out. Wah! Come on, must get off shield. Oh, I also forgot to mention something about Savato. Is that after you cut off its web, if there's any baby Savatos left over, it will actually use it to use the babies to reinforce its 
shield. It would actually absorb the babies. It's kind of morbid in a way. <laughs> but then again, the Savato is a apparently the um, essence of death itself, so it makes a lot of sense in that regard. Come on. Just need to get the shield off. I'm sure you won't mind that much. <laughs> You've already had your shield knocked off eight times before. No, 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 no. Good. Oh, all right. Get ready. You don't even have to raise the vitals here. It's just going to automatically drop the 30. And now watch. She'll use her healing touch. And now, Derek's going to use his healing touch. Did you see that? That makes no sense in the game's storyline. Because of the fact that this, the healing touch is considered a form of extreme concentration. How are they able to combine their healing touches together? Now you see, it's clear that Naomi's healing touch is being active because as you've seen, the vitals are going up as I was suturing these cuts. So that is something that I don't need to do. You know, I don't need to use this. All I have to go is use this now. So it was, it's clear that Naomi used hers and then um, Derek came along and just used his after. I just don't get it unless, unless maybe Naomi used hers twice in a row. But it, I don't think that was it. I mean, it switched immediately over to Derek during the tense moment. So it's like it's hinting that it was did Derek that used that second healing touch there. And you know, obviously, a, one person's concentration can't be transferred to another person. <laughs> nice work, Dr. Styles. Well, anyway, I am sorry to expose that plot hole there of sorts, if that is one. Maybe someone else can explain that. But I, I don't see any other way to explain that other than it being a pure plot hole. That was a pretty good rank. And the epilogue is next. Z last. Let's click on that. It's not even part of chapter 6 if you didn't notice that. So you, you'll notice that the number 6 dis hiccup, excuse me, disappeared. Well, looks like everything's going back to normal. Everything went lovely. Oh, and uh, quick spoiler alert. There's more to come. There's some quote-unquote unreleased files of sorts in this game called the X Operations after the epilogue here. And they are the hardest operations in the game. We'll have to do every single one of the guilds in their absolute hardest forms that they could possibly make, seemingly. Uh, they're all hard, well, maybe not tritty and... Uh, um, Tatarty, excuse me. They're always... If you know how to defeat them, they're always pretty, uh, they're consistently easy to beat. Oh, sadly, Naomi won't be coming back with us. Perhaps we'll visit her. Then we can have our slumber party. It's about time they started to regulate that stuff. I mean, they were letting people uh, do experiments with guilt left and right without any trouble whatsoever there. Like, then, then again, some of the people were probably, um, you know, doing it behind the scenes on their own lab and their own territory and stuff like that. So it's not like, you know, a, a doctor that knows what they're doing would um, consciously let such a bad disease go upon the world, but you know what I mean. Once again, I have nothing witty to say. I apologize. <laughs> I can't be witty with everything, dang it.
Woohoo! Fan mail! This is the first time the camera's ever panned across a scene in a cutscene like this. It was all stationary images zipping back and forth onto the screen. And here's the credits. This part's going to be extra long. It's going on a lot longer than I thought it would actually. It's at, uh, I'm estimating about 24 minutes or so without any cuts. <laughs> so yeah, that's Trauma Center. Well, Trauma Center, second opinion. I absolutely love the game series. Even though I'm sure some people are very, very squeamish about, uh, like, blood and thoughts of operations, medical procedures, organs, whatnot. But I still recommend that you actually give the game a try. Because you see, well, you probably won't even be watching this part if you're that squeamish, to be honest. So I, this is probably falling on deaf ears. But uh, I do recommend that even if you are squeamish, that you play this game anyway. Because you see, in the heat of the action of this game, it's like you're focusing more on saving the patient than you are on the organs, the bloodiness, the lacerations, you know, all that stuff. It's just way, way too frantic for you to be focusing on other things, you know? And I think that's where uh, a lot of this game's charm comes, comes into place of how it's been uh, universally loved by people who, who have played it because of the fact that it can be played by everyone. It's The game distracts you with its franticness and sort of takes you... Uh, yes, I will. It sort of takes you out of the moment of what you're actually doing and making you focus on the operations themselves. I mean, the uh, actual, you know, getting rid of the guilt or saving a patient. And it's, it's like more of a puzzle, action puzzle game than it is a surgery simulator. Anyway, now we're, we're gonna go over to the save file. Let's go over to here. Yeah, I've already cleared this one, obviously. Look, oh man, I, I didn't know I played 38 hours on my original save file. Oh, I guess it isn't the, like unreleased reports. It is to get rid of the guilt in Adam. Hmm. Oh, I see. They are they are they are confidential and whatnot. Now you'll notice that uh, two of them open at the same time. This side is for Naomi. This side is for Derek. They're both the exact same operation except besides the healing touch thing. So I'm only going to be doing one side of these. And since Derek's is technically harder because, you know, he doesn't have that healing, healing touch where when you use the healing touch and you heal uh, wounds or something like that, the patient's vitals go up. So I'm going to be going through his and not even going to be bothering with hers because why show the same operation twice? You know, it just doesn't make any sense. Also, take note of the difficulty here. Go straight from hard to extreme. So that should give you an idea of what we'll be up against in the next couple of parts. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.